In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to go over how to add pages to your website. If you scroll down your dashboard and click on this little triangle, uh, you get the options All Pages and Add New. Well, I'm going to click on All Pages to see what pages I already have made. When you first start up WordPress, they've already made you a page, an About page. Okay? It's just a default page with some generic text in it. I want to make a new page to add to that About page. So I'm going to click on Add New at the top here. And it looks just like our post page, uh, except remember pages are static, right? So this is going to appear not in our blog page, but uh, as a button at the top. So I can type in anything here. I could put in my contact information, my email address. And just like in post, if I want to publish this over here on the right hand side, I can click on publish. And now everyone in the online world can see what I've done. After I've clicked on it, just wait a few seconds, and I can go to my page and see what's happened. Uh, keep in mind that pages, again, are static and there's no date associated with pages. So I click on CWDHS Web, or I can view the page. So right now the page looks like this. And as you can see, it's created a button on my home site. So I have home, about, and contact info. Okay? So that was the second page I made. So it goes about, then contact info. They appear that way simply because they're in alphabetical order. And that's what WordPress does. As you make pages, it organizes them in alphabetical order. But what if you don't like that? Well, there's a way you can change that. So if I go back to all pages and click on contact info. So remember that contact info was the second page. So about appears first contact second. If you scroll to the right here under page attributes, okay, you can change the order of things. So let's say I wanted contact info to be first. Well, I'd assign that a number one. And let's say that I want the about page to have a different number. Well, if I give that number, if I give that page, well, we just got to go to that page first. If I go to about now, Go to my page attributes and I'm going to assign this uh, a number two. So I want this to appear second on my home site. I'm going to click on update. And I can go check it out. Now it's made a, a difference. So contact info is first now and about is second. It is a bit time consuming and isn't my favorite thing about WordPress that it organizes them alphabetically. But if you want to change the order, you simply have to assign a number to them. Now, there's another interesting way of setting up your pages, and that is through uh, rollover menus. So that's a little bit more complex, but you might like that even more. So let's say I want the About page to appear under Contact Info. So let's say if I click on Contact Info, I want my About page to go underneath it. Well, under Page Attributes, under Parent, I can select contact info. What that means is the about page is going to be under contact info. So if I click update now and go to my site, oh, about is gone, but if I click on about info, a uh, nice fancy drop down menu. So this comes in handy if you have a whole bunch of pages and if you want to organize things. Uh, this is great for a course, a school course site, because you can have things under each other. Let's say you don't like that. Well, it's pretty easy to change. If you go back to pages, you can see that the about has a dash on it. That just lets you know that it's connected to contact info. And you can always change that if you want to. I can just click again on edit on the about page and I don't want it to have a parent. So click no parent, update, and it'll be back to what it was like before. Okay, so again, this is just another way of organizing your pages.